Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I'm going to show you what I call my pinball treasure chest. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> um, when I first got my Deadpool pinball machine, I knew I would need something to store the various items that I would need to store. Some of these items were um, receipts, tools, uh, pinballs, as, as in the little chrome balls, um, owner's ma manual, stuff like that, wax. And then when I got my Pirates of the Caribbean machine, I knew I would definitely need something to store all the stuff. And at the time, I had you know certain things here in, the, in my game room. I had certain things in the garage, certain things upstairs in my closet, and I wanted something, a storage container, that didn't necessarily look like a standard storage container where I could put all the stuff in. And so I decided, well, I wanted something that goes with the game room, and since I have a Pirates of the Caribbean pinball machine, I want a treasure chest. So I started looking online for treasure chests. The only things I could really find were little jewelry boxes that were maybe you know, 10 inches by 12 inches by 8 inches, small things. And that just wasn't going to work. One of the reasons is because the Pirates of the Caribbean owner's manual is huge and heavy. So I wanted a big container. I would again look online, uh, treasure chests, and if I didn't find a little jewelry box, then it was some type of other chest which was six seven hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars vintage stuff you know old you know items that was just no way i was going to pay that much so i thought great I, I really want a something that looks like a treasure chest so one day me and my wife were antique shopping we were at, at an antique store um which if you're in if you have a game room you might want to try go looking at antique stores it's not just quote unquote old stuff in grandma's closet. Uh, these places you'll have like original Coca-Cola signs. Um, I've seen Coca-Cola coolers, original jukeboxes, even real authentic um, games like Pac-Man. I've seen a Street Fighter cabinet. I've seen pinball machines. I've seen original popcorn machines. I've seen a lot of stuff that could go in you know a man cave. So, and me and my wife, we like to go to um, these stores, not a lot, maybe a couple times a month, once a month, something like that. Uh, it's just fun, you know, you never know what you can find. I found some really cool stuff. So anyways, I saw this chest, and I thought, you know what, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I looked at the price, and it was $175 thought no there is no way I'm gonna pay that much and I wish I still had the tag because it it said what type of a chest it was so I went to the, the the cashier I said can you call the person who owns this it was one of those places where um, people rent out space within the store and they have a little area and they put their things and if it sells the store gets a commission and you know you can make offers so I went um, to the cashier, I said, can you find, you know, it's in this quote unquote room. This is the item. Uh, call them. I want to offer them a hundred dollars. They called, uh, they said, you know, we have a customer here who wants to offer a hundred dollars for this. So-and-so it was a certain type of trunk. I wish I kept the label. Anyways, uh, the owner said, nope, lowest I can go is one twenty-five. They told me that. And I'm like, nope, I am not paying that much. Screw that. So I went home. I remembered the name of what the item was. So I started to look online. Holy crap. The only things that I could find online for that item, for the, you know, whatever type of trunk uh, this was called. It's like a, not a hunchback trunk. I, I can't remember. Anyways, they were like 200, 250. Um, it was things that would make me say, oh my God, $175 is a great price. $125 is a phenomenal price. So the following weekend, uh, I think it was a Friday after work, maybe a 
Monday? No, I think I went on a Friday night declined and then went back Friday or Monday or Tuesday after work. I went in there. It was still there. I, you know, pulled it down. And, you know, I, I was prepared to pay the, the 175 but I told, you know, the person, hey, a couple days ago, I made an offer on this. The owner said, nope, they'll take a 125 You know, can you call them, see if they'll still stand by that? And I was prepared, if the person said no, that I would still purchase this for the price of what it was, which I think was 175 compared to the 200 250 300 elsewhere. Uh, the owner still, you know, was willing to sell it for 125 I picked it up. And this video is already over five minutes. Sorry about that. I'm just rambling on, but deal with it. So, took it home. Loved it. Funny thing is, a week later, me and my wife went to a different antique store in a different uh, city, many miles away. Found something almost exactly the same for 40 bucks. And it was funny. I, I saw it. My wife says, don't look at the price. Because if it's lower, you're going to, you know be kicking yourself well i looked at the price and yeah it was like 40 bucks so hey took it as a laugh actually anyways this is my pinball storage um my pinball storage treasure chest i got it looks like a treasure chest so let's open it up and see what's inside ah, let's see what we got here here we go so I got my Pirates of the Caribbean stuff on this side my Deadpool stuff on this side let's see what we got here for Pirates USB stick for updating the game got additional pinballs in here these are the original pinballs from my Pirates of the Caribbean machine. I just stuck them in here. Not sure why. Some magnets. These are for uh, side blade protectors, which I may have already released a video on. Not sure. Some Pirates uh, extras that came with the, the machine. The tilt uh, bob head, whatever that thing's called. Lights. This is to replace the lights on uh, my pirate's machine. These things aren't don't stay in very easily. You need um, silicone, or in my case, I use tape to make sure they don't come out. They could literally just like slide right out. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, the lock bar. Foam back. This this was inside the machine. You need to, you need to remove it when you play your machine. What else we got here? Oh, Taruga Tom. You can see this. I actually replaced this with um, Captain Jack's Jack Sparrow's dad. Took the figure off. Real easy. But it, here it is. These are additional parts, which Jersey Jack pinball. I'm not sure why I have these out. Oh, the original shooter rod. As you can see, I replaced the shooter rod on my pirates. We have the operation, the owner's manual on uh, a CD, DVD, whatever that is, on a disc. That's what comes with uh, your, your Pirates of the Caribbean machine for the standard edition and um, the limited edition. The collector's edition comes with the authentic physical manual. I got this little guy. This was actually from 
the mod couple. This was to go on the Black Pearl. I decided I wasn't going to put it on there, so I just left it in here. So let's put all this stuff back. Oh, this. This I also got from the Mod Couple. This is the silencer kit for uh, the spinning disc on the playfield for pirates. Um, I bought this, and yeah, the, the current disc does make sound. There is a noise, but it doesn't bother me. So, yeah, decided not to uh, replace it. I really feel there's no need to. Some people can't stand it. I don't know if mine is, you know, a little more silent. Who knows? Oh. This here. Put these bad boys back here. All right, now let's see what we got on the Deadpool side. Yeah, this video is going to be over 10 minutes. In fact, it already is. So, five minutes of that was me rambling on. What have we got in here? Oh, this is that uh, Deadpool Toy Bash kit that I purchased that I ended up really not needing to purchase. Some wax sponges. This is the Playfield wax that I use. One grand Blitz wax. When it comes to you know which wax is the best, ask that question. You ask that question once, you'll get a thousand different answers. This is the one I decided to go with. I think it works great. I have no problems with it. But yeah, what do we got here? Um, this. Oh. I was having issues with my Deadpool, uh, some of the lights not lighting up the way they should. I contacted Stern, they didn't want to replace the node board or anything. Uh, the most they would offer me is a replacement of the cable. And, you know, I tried the cable, that didn't solve the problem. Luckily, I was able to solve the problem further down. Um, but yeah, oh, oh well, free cable. Uh, Deadpool goodies from my machine. Yep, the mixtape never opened it. Or the Deadpool tape. Another cable. Can't remember why or what this one's for. Oh well. What else we got? Oh, more USB sticks. The USB stick I use specifically for Deadpool. The original Deadpool um, pinballs. Little extras for the machine. Oh, the tilt bob head thingy. Dazzler, Domino, and Wolverine. I really don't need to hang on to these, but I do. The original shooter rod. Uh, instruction man, or some instructions. That's about it for this one. Now, let's see what's on the bottom. Ugh. Here, I have all my Deadpool stuff. All the instructions, the owner's manual, everything I need. And here, remember I made a video on this bad boy, the Pirates of the Caribbean Operation Manual. Sucker's huge. But yeah, that, in a nutshell, is my uh, pinball treasure chest. This thing is old. It's been uh, replaced, repaired. Um, yeah, is it worth it? Well, to me it is. Other people will probably say that I am crazy to pay that amount. But... You work hard in life to be able to enjoy certain things. 
So, there you are. If you have any questions, which I'm not sure why you would, other than the fact of why is this video so long, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>